I'm Donna from Nastasia.com. Today I'll be showing you a great crocheted item called Spiral Scrubbies. This pattern was designed and written by Judith Prindle and can be found on her website at crochetpatternsonly.blogspot.com or as a link from the Nastasia.com website. When made with soft yarn, such as Red Hearts Echo Cotton, these make for great washcloths for babies, children, and adults. And if you make it with Red Hearts Acrylic Super Saver, they make for great everyday cleaning items. This pattern requires that you know how to crochet, a basic chain, single crochets, and sew a seam. First, leave a long tail at the beginning for sewing and chain 21 stitches. Next, we'll start row 1. In the second chain from the hook, do two single crochets in the same space. This is called an increase. Next, do one single crochet in the next 17 chains. When you get to the last two chains, stop. We're now going to do a decrease. Put your hook in the next chain yarn over and draw up the loop. Now put your hook in the last chain, yarn over and draw up a loop. Finally, yarn over and draw your hook through all three loops. You should have a total of 20 stitches in this row. Chain one and turn your work. Next is row two. We'll be doing the reverse of what we did in row one. We'll begin the row with a decrease and we'll crochet only in the back loops. Put your hook in the back loop of the first single crochet and draw up a loop. Put your hook in the back loop of the next single crochet and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw your hook through all three loops. Now, single crochet in the back loops for the next 17 stitches. Do two single crochets in the last stitch. You should have a total of 20 stitches in this row. Chain one and turn your work. For row three, do two single crochets in the first stitch, followed by a single crochet in each of the next 17 stitches. Do a decrease in the last two stitches. Repeat both rows two and three for a total of 21 rows. Next, we'll sew the scrubby seams together. The easiest way to do this is lay your finished piece on a work surface with the tail ends on the bottom. Take the right hand corner and fold it over this way. Take the left hand corner and fold it over this way. Now hold these ends together and sew the seam with a yarn needle. Do not cut the yarn when you are finished. Once this seam is sewn, we will use this yarn to weave around the edge and pull the center together. We will also do it for this side. Take the long tail and weave your needle in and out along the edge. Once you've gone around the entire edge, pull tightly to form the center of the circle. Turn your scrubby over and Using the same yarn, weave in and out along the remaining edge. Once you have finished, tie it to the other yarn end with a few knots, weave your ends in, and clip your yarn. I hope this video has helped you, and please visit Judith Prindle's website at crochetpatternsonly.blogspot.com for more amazing patterns. And as always, please check out www.nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living.